you are a skeptic in matters of astrology, you will probably ask for concrete proof that astrological predictions have actually been made. These old books are the proof of such predictions. In the first place, we have dear old Mother Shipton. She was not very handsome, but one of the greatest seeresses of all times. Living in 1450 AD, she actually predicted the discovery of America, the discovery of gold in California, the invention of airplanes and submarines, the inventions of automobiles. She even went so far as to say that the time would come in the distant future when women would cut their hair and wear trousers. In this chart, the first sign of the zodiac is Aries, extending from March 20th to April 20th. Those born under this sign are strong, courageous, optimistic people with positive, pioneering spirits and fitted for leadership. The second sign of the zodiac, Taurus, rules from April 20th to May 20th and bestows upon those born under it a courageous but rather stubborn disposition, but also a great love for the fine arts culture and the beautiful things of life. The third sign of the zodiac, Gemini, rules those born between the 20th of May and the 20th of June. It bestows a dual nature with love of change and travel and some tendency to nervousness. Those born under the sign of Cancer the Crab, ruling from June 20th to July 20th, are born with strong family attachments, considerable vanity, and a sensitive high-strung temperament. It is interesting to note that the United States of America came into existence under the sign of Cancer, the Crab. Now the fifth sign of the Zodiac, Leo, ruling from July 20th to August 20th, is the most loyal and conscientious of the zodiacal signs. It bestows upon those born under it love of leadership, loyalty to friends, high personal principles, and success in those departments of life in which they have authority over others. The sixth sign of the zodiac, Virgo, rules those who are born between the 20th of August and the 20th of September. These people stand in their own way, and if they overcome a tendency to an inferiority complex, can go far in this world. Those born between the 20th of September and the 20th of October are born under the sign of Libra. This is an emotional, artistic sign, a little given to extravagance and somewhat egotistic. These people must develop a practical, everyday working philosophy of life. The eighth sign of the zodiac, Scorpio, rules those people who were born between the 20th of October and the 20th of November. They are a hard-working, conscientious group of people, but they are often misunderstood because they lack diplomacy. The ninth sign of the zodiac, Sagittarius, rules those people who are born between the 20th of November and the 20th of December. This is an optimistic sign, bestowing a genial disposition a tendency to extravagance and overindulgence, but a general optimism on all the problems of life. The tenth sign of the zodiac, Capricorn, governs those who are born between December 20th and January 20th. This sign bestows a grave and taciturn disposition with a considerable tendency toward self-pity. And in order to be happy, the Capricorn person must cultivate a genuine friendliness of nature. The eleventh sign of the zodiac is Aquarius governing those people who are born between the 20th of January and the 20th of February. People born under it are rather inconsistent in their ideas, but they contribute definitely to progress. They are humanitarian, progressive, generous, and sympathetic in their natures and lives. Now the 12th sign of the zodiac, Pisces, governs from the 20th of February to the 20th of March. Those who are born under it do most of their thinking sitting down because their feet hurt. But in the end, much of the world's greatest progress is accomplished by Piscean people who are mystic, creative, and idealistic in their natures. The story that follows is an example of one of the practical applications of astrology. A crime has been committed. Astrology can solve crime. It has solved many crimes in the past. Astrology is the strangest of the sciences, but it is a science.